Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Chasing Kojima, the weekly podcast where we talk about Hideo Kojima and his various uh, oeuvre in the world. Uh, I am your host, Will Crosby. Joining me this week, as always, is the lovely Zack Schneider from Save Data. Can you fucking believe it, Will? <laughs> well, I guess... I mean, it's been rumored for a while, but like, holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. Uh, first, before we get to the exciting news, I want to apologize for missing last week, but we're back this week <laughs> to here to uh, talk about all things Hideo Kojima. This week, Metal Gear Solid 3 was just... Remake, sorry. Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake was just announced at the PlayStation Showcase, or as we were just discussing before we started recording, Metal Gear Solid Triangle Delta... Snake Eater Delta? One of those, yeah. It's, uh, it's unclear. It's it's something like that. Um, they announced that. They showed a neat trailer with a snake and a bird and ants and all sorts of cool things. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, after that, they also revealed the Classic Collection. Did it say Volume 1? Or Classic Collection 1? Sorry, uh, Master Collection Volume 1. Is what um, that's in I did not catch the volume one part, so now I am pretty interested by so, the implications. I, I don't know how long ago, but we received um a not not GameSpot, I believe it's the fandom side received a something to do with some sort of marketing thing. But mm. it was Metal Gear Solid collection. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, What? And I wrote it off, like it was in the back of my mind, but I wrote it off as oh, they're just putting out that PlayStation collection again, which I was excited mm -hmm. about. But this is not what I was thinking. Uh, first of all, the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake and this Volume 1 collection that seems to include Metal Gear Solid, uh, Solid 2, and the original Snake Eater mm -hmm. uh, coming to the Pl PlayStation 5 this fall. That one I can't find uh, on the... I can't find the trailer on YouTube. The Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater trailer has officially been posted by Konami on mm -hmm. their... Uh, YouTube channel, and it does say the game will be available. It does not write out Delta. It just shows the symbol again. Will be yep. available for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Steam. Um, yes. Which is very exciting. I assume those Classic Collection volume is also coming to all uh, uh, systems, which will be great because I will no longer have to lug out several different consoles <laughs> to play <laughs> all of Metal Gear. Um, yeah. What are it, your initial thoughts here on any on any of it? Um, so here's the thing. This trailer. Let's talk about this trailer for a second. Is it a great trailer? The first 90 seconds of it. <sighs> I'm, gonna hit I'm left wondering here. what the hell is happening. Because you start off with a very well well modeled ant. And then you get to a frog. And guess what? A falcon eats the frog. And then eventually you see a snake. And... Uh, eventually a crocodile eats a snake and then after all of that you see the real apex predator big fucking boss let's go and then i popped so i was like yeah and then they start playing fucking snake eater and then by that point it's clean up an aisle my pants you know i am oh man it's so not a tuesday either i know i know uh yeah i am um... It's funny, I actually, because I was prepping to do, like, a comparison, because that's kind of our bread and butter over at, at work, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I'll do a comparison for this, and then the trailer popped off, and I was like, ah, shit, I can't, like, there's just nothing in here. There's no. But I did <laughs> find, in a 2004 trailer, uh, in classic Hideo Kojima fashion, is about 18,000 minutes long, uh, uh -huh. and at the very <laughs> end, there's a crocodile swimming and a bird oh. chirps down and lands on its on its snout, and then it okay. then snake stands up because he's wearing the crocodile. Oh yeah, hat. okay, I do remember and, that. Uh, I do remember that. And I was like, oh, I should compare this for like a funny little gag. So I might uh -huh. I might hit that at work tomorrow. But that's, that's yeah, it was it was cool. I like I were I know exactly where those trees are because they're like uh -huh. in that one section where you're going through the. And aren't you are you fighting a boss there? The like ghosts uh, or something? Aren't there like weird ghosts that you're fighting? Uh, I mean, something. It's very the, Death Stranding that sequence. Is, I'm now realizing. It's just very Hideo Kojima, but like, <laughs> there, there. I mean, there is the the not what's his name, the Sorrow uh, boss fight, but right, I, I don't think this is that. Um, 
but it, it, it's it's very interesting. I mean, again, this this is the most nothing of a trailer, ultimately. It's just more of like, they could have just put the logo and said, we're making it. But instead they spent 90 seconds not showing anything related to Metal <laughs> Gear. And then at the very last like 10, they're like, hey, Snake's here. Yeah, uh, snake's here. <laughs> Let's check out these ants. Yeah, but like, and 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 uh, uh, it was interesting because like even in the trailer, like you didn't see like Konami's. I mean, Konami is doing it, but like you didn't see specifically like they were very careful. It felt to me of like reminding you that yes, Konami is making this game and Kojima is not involved because yeah, hey, they don't they don't want to remind you of that. But like, yeah, at the same time. I don't, you don't have to do that much. I'll be excited for it, you know? Yeah, that was kind of my feel. Like, I I would be fine with just all of the games in a collection that I can play. So, like, that has already been satisfied. True. True. So, like, this on top of it, even if it sucks or it's terrible, mm -hmm. um, I can still kind of be happy about it. I wonder. So, not to break off of that, but the since it's the Master Collection Volume 1, uh -huh. I wonder if Volume 2 is 4 and 5 with maybe more five con like i wonder if there's someone there's at konami no being like way. like hey do you think there's kojima no will ever forgive us way <laughs> i i think you can't pay this man enough to get him to come back and finish yeah. the ending of metal gear solid five uh sorry v the phantom pain but like <laughs> yeah not five <laughs> no it's not called five um but like yeah, no, you, we're we're never gonna get the true ending to that, which is a bummer. But yeah, I I guess they would repackage four and five at a later date. Which I mean, four is like one of the white whales at this point. No pun intended, because like you you fucking can't play that game unless you have an old PlayStation Three, right? Um, I don't think it's ever been ported. Yeah, you just. And we, what? I'll double check this, so I'm not saying. The, so the wrong. PlayStation PS3 collection has. Up through four. Oh, okay. So the PS3 can play all of them except five, because I don't think five ever came out on the PS3. That was Xbox One, PlayStation 4, right? And that's also including the MSX games are on that collection as well, mm. which is nice. Um, yeah, it, it, I've, what I'm looking up is everyone saying, yeah, unless you have the, the, unless you have a Metal Gear Solid 3, or Metal Gear Solid 3, a PlayStation 3, <laughs> Uh oh okay no it oh it's also on PlayStation now so you can stream it oh thank God thank God it's <laughs> on there um uh, folks I also want to apologize I just switched over the camera so they're recording so the first half of the podcast does not have William <laughs> William <laughs> I'm so sorry um I, it's just like well because we were off last week. I had to. I turned uh -huh. my switch things up, yeah, and now that yeah, we're back, yeah. Um, yeah, we had that. We had that vacation weekend. Yeah, it's okay. At the end of this, we'll shoot an extra intro. <laughs> sure, uh, sure. Um, but anyways, all of this to say, uh, we don't dilly dally on these podcasts. I mean, we put. I don't. I can't even count how many we put out, but we do so not many. dilly dally. They're very quick uh, and punchy. So mm -hmm. uh, those are, uh, is there any last thing you want to say about Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater and also the Master Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1? Uh, I guess the big thing for me is, uh, uh, let me know if, if this has been officially like clarified. Do we know if this is going to be more of just like a, a, a remaster or more of a remake oh. situation? Are we going to get like a, a Resident Evil 2 remake like situation? Because if we get that, I am like through the moon this could be a game of the year contender for whenever it comes out so uh again back to the youtube i'm glad you brought that up because i didn't mean to read this it says metal gear solid triangle snake eater is a faithful remake of metal gear solid 3 snake mm. eater a new generation of players and loyal fans alike can experience the origin origin orange story of the famed big boss and witness how this legend was forged in the crucible of operation snake eater okay fuck yeah that's a pretty awesome last sentence uh <laughs> holy shit but okay, I guess I guess it's just gonna be like a, a fancy, you know, change all the polygons, make them look nicer situation. Yeah, I I think that's gonna be it. I, I can see, I mean, s 
Silent Hills doing it, which is also metal, or uh, which is also Konami. I can True. see people looking at um, Resident Evil Two remake and being like, "Hey, we should take some of our old games that mm-hmm. are good and just mm-hmm. make them appealing for a modern audience." Mm-hmm. Um, and I think I mean, that's what we're seeing. At the least, just at least make the uh, the menuing in this game a little bit better because I do remember the menuing being. Uh... A bit laborious, you know, if you take any damage and you're just like, oh, I got to go to the menu, get a splint on my arm, fix that. Yeah. Just shorten that up a little bit. Also changing the camouflage like every time because I was the worst about it. I'd be like, oh, shit. I can see I gotta- that being on like a radial menu now. If, if they do something like that, I'll be like, OK, good on you. I'm happy with this, but we'll see. Yeah. But I just I'm excited to see everything in in. Well, first of all, I'm excited to see everything in HD. In I assume the master collection is going to come out first. Um, so I'm excited assume, to see. Yeah. I'm excited to see all that stuff in HD and any like uh, extras they include will be really mm-hmm. neat. Um, and then on top of that, it'll be awesome to see the remake versions of all these trailers. Are they going to do mocap? Uh, are they going to mm. do all that sort of stuff? Are they are they going to mix up the ladder scene? Like change that up? Like make it a little bit more funny? Um, or just <laughs> do it as is? <laughs> funny? Um, like what? The ladder falls and you die. No, like there's like a second ladder or like Oh, uh, that would be so fun. And the like song cuts the, out while you get onto the second one and then starts playing again. That would be such a good bit. Like you get to the top and it just says level one. It's just like a sign to point up. It's just like oh okay. like that funny. that sort of stuff. I can see it being pretty good. But uh, just yeah. just one thing to clarify, the the Master Collection Volume One will be out this fall, it says. Did okay, did it say that? Uh, well, in this GameSpot.com article I'm reading, it says that. Well, you can never trust them, to be yeah. completely honest with you. Uh, written, uh, written by one Jason Finelli uh, and I mean, Darren Bonthuis. Bonthuis? I, both those people, you really can't trust them. Okay. You know, they okay. just talk about things in Slack all the time. Okay, any any final words here? We're, uh, we're brushing up here on 13 minutes, most of it recorded visually. Uh, so <laughs> if there's anything no, I, you want to say. I, I, I think that's really it. I mean, the, the, I guess, actually, no. One question to you. How long do you think they are on development, and when do we actually play this video game? Oof. I'm going to say they're targeting next year. I don't think they're targeting this year. No, definitely um, not. And I think... You think it gets pushed to 2025? I think 70% it comes out next year, 30% it gets it gets delayed to later in the year. Hmm. But if it gets delayed to the later in the year, I think it's just going to get delayed to 2025 then. I, okay. I, I'm going to call spring 2025 right now. Just say that. Spring 2025. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll say fall 2020. Actually, right now, I'll say spring 2024. Um, okay. Wow. Okay. And uh, the collection you said was this fall, right? Yes. Yes. Cool. So that'll tide me over. Oh, I'm just going to stream all those games. They're going to be so much fun. Yeah, that's so good. I'm very excited. Um, yeah, a lot of cool news uh, out from the uh, the uh, PlayStation Showcase. So if you're a fan of Chasing Kojima, uh, then check well, out we know uh, you local are. chat and other things. Um, and check those out. Uh, we will see you all next time. For Subpixel, I'm Will Crosby. And for Save Data Team, I'm Zack Schneider. And, and together we're, we're your twin snakes. snakes. But real snakes, not penises. <laughs> Why would you, why would you add that part? Bye. <laughs>